Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2017 American urban fantasy action film called Bright 2017. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our movie takes place in an alternate reality Los Angeles, where humans exist with fairies, orcs, and elves. We see police officer Daryl Ward waiting outside a shop while his orc partner, Nick Jacoby, is getting something to eat. Suddenly, an orc gangster comes out of the shop and blasts Daryl with a gun. Sometime later, we see Daryl and his wife, Sherry, talking in their house. Sherry asks why there's a fairy in the bird feeder and tells Daryl to go kill it. We also see a video of Joe Rogan interviewing an orc about Daryl's orc partner, Nick. The other orcs hate Nick. They consider him a traitor, as he is the first ever orc cop. Outside, Daryl goes to kill the fairy and talks with his gangster neighbor, Mike, who's partying with lots of people. Daryl tells him that fairy lives don't matter today and then beats the fairy badly with his broom. Back in the house, we meet Daryl's daughter, Sophia. Daryl explains that all the races are just different. Just then, Nick pulls up out front in a police car to welcome Daryl back to work. Sophia shows her disappointment as her dad is a cop, saying that everybody hates policemen. Later in the police car, Nick and Daryl joke around and then take a shortcut to the police station through the very rich and elite elf town. The elves are all very well dressed and drive around in expensive luxury cars. We can see humans, centaurs, dwarves, and goblins thrown in for diversity in this world. Inside the police station, a few cops, Pollard, Hicks, and Brown make fun of Nick when he's not around. They talk about clan law, how orcs look out for each other. Pollard gets in Daryl's face and warns what happens if Nick gets one of them killed. He tells Daryl that once with the Dark Lord, always with the Dark Lord. We learn that Pollard hates the orcs over wars that happened 2,000 years ago. The captain welcomes Daryl back and you can feel the tension in the room as Pollard death stares Nick. Sergeant Ching puts Daryl and Nick together and soon after, Daryl asks to have a different partner but the sergeant refuses. Later, Nick and Daryl drive through downtown orc streets. Baggy clothes, big chains, and police brutality against the orcs help to point out what culture the orcs are representing. Daryl needs to know if Nick is a cop first or an orc first. Nick says he's a cop first and they head off to a scene where Officer Rodriguez is waiting. On the streets, we see Serling swinging a sword and yelling about the nine different races in this world. Nick tells the man to put the sword down the officers take out their guns, then Nick arrests Serling. Daryl takes the sword back to the car, and Rodriguez tells him to be careful. The armed street gangs, Altamira and Fogteeth, are causing chaos. On the way back to the police station, Serling speaks in Orcish to Nick. He has a message from the Shield of Light. Nick has been chosen by a prophecy, and Daryl is blessed. However, Nick doesn't believe it. Later, Daryl is met by two tough-acting internal affairs agents who want Daryl to snitch on Nick. They want to get Nick fired, and Daryl reluctantly agrees to help. We also see a well-dressed elf agent, Kandamir, and his human partner, Montague, turn up to interrogate Serling, who has a Shield of Light tattoo hidden on his head. It turns out, these guys work for the Magic Task Force, the Magic Feds. They show Serling photos of Layla, a dark elf, and Inferni, coven leader. Then, Tika, Layla's sister and former Inferni. The Inferni are a group of Dark Elves, planning on bringing back the Dark Lord by using three magic wands. Layla is also a Bright, which means she can hold a magic wand in her bare hands without exploding. We also learn that human Brights are extremely rare. At the end of the interrogation, Serling says that the Shield of Light will destroy the Dark Lord with magic. Meanwhile, Daryl and Nick are called off to investigate the Abrams house. They are shot soon after they arrive at the house and make their way inside. They find weapons and lots of dead bodies. Some look like they were burnt to death and Daryl calls for backup. There's a possible bride at the scene as we see a weird female elf torso stuck in the wall. Daryl and Nick chase down and catch Tika who has a glowing magic wand and ask them to protect her. She says something bad is coming for them. In the next scene, Pollard, Hicks, Brown, and Sergeant Ching have arrived as backup. They want the magic wand for themselves, and Pollard puts on a glove and picks up the magic wand. It glows bright blue 
and makes a strange noise. The officers tell Daryl that Nick has to die, and when Daryl goes outside, they make a plan to kill Daryl too. Outside, Daryl pulls his gun on Nick. In a flashback, we find out that Nick lost the shooter suspect in a crowd and almost shot a young orc who was spray painting in an alley. Nick knew the police would kill the young orc, so he helped the orc escape. The orcs have a powerful sense of smell and that the young orc can't be the shooter. The four officers walk outside and Pollard tells Daryl to kill Nick. Daryl spins around, in slow motion of course, and shoots the officers dead. Pollard is still alive and Nick calls in for backup. Daryl tells Nick that they were both going to be killed over the wand and they put Tika in the police car as a gang arrives. Daryl and Nick are surrounded by Altamira. Their leader, Poison, knows there's a wand and he wants it. Nick and Daryl jump in their police car and drive off as the gang shoots at them. It's car chase time as the gang chases the cops, ramming and shooting at them in their car. Daryl and Nick manage to fight off and escape the gangsters. Daryl even shoots the driver in the face with the taser. Sometime later, Layla and her minions arrive at the Abrams house. She talks with Lakira, the elf torso stuck to the wall, and kills her after hearing Tika has escaped with Layla's magic wand. Layla then finishes off Pollard and kills a nearby family after getting information on the wand's whereabouts. There's even a quick flash of flying dragon in the next scene, and soon after, gangsters catch up with Daryl, Nick, and Tika. One of the gangsters picks up the magic wand, and immediately, the team is destroyed in a cloud of blue lightning. Elsewhere, Kandamir goes to the Abrams house with his team, and we find out Layla is vulnerable without her magic wand. Daryl, Nick, and Tika run from the Altamira and walk through a club. Poison and his gang turn up, and they want the wand, now. They say never bring a knife to a gunfight, but that's exactly what Layla and her minions do. They turn up and slash the Altamira open, killing Poison as bullets fly. Nick and Daryl have a heart-to-heart -heart chat, and then Rodriguez turns up to help them. They call Candomir, who agrees to help, and soon after, Rodriguez is shot and killed as the Dark Elves attack. Elves are very acrobatic, as we see lots of action and fighting inside the store, and the good guys run away to what they think is safety. Unfortunately, the trio runs into a group of Fogteeth gangsters, who beat them up and take them back to the gang headquarters, which is a church. Inside the church, the orc leader, Dorgu, also wants the wand and beats Daryl and Nick. The orcs hate the fact that Nick isn't blooded. He's not a real orc to them. Daryl says there's no wand, they are just fairy tales. The orcs open up a pit and Dorgu tells his son Mikey to kill Nick, but he can't do it. Mikey is the young orc that Nick helped escape from the police. Dorgu sends Mikey home and then shoots Nick, who falls into the pit. He turns his gun on Daryl, but Tika pulls out the magic wand and brings Nick back from the dead. Nick glows blue with magic. The orcs are amazed and kneel before him. They believe he's the orc from the prophecy. It's a pretty powerful moment, but short-lived as the trio leaves soon after. In the next scene, Tika speaks English for the first time. Knowing she can now trust Daryl and Nick, she tells them everything. She ran away from the Inferni. The Shield of Light hit her and Layla gave Lakira her wand to kill Tika. Tika used the wand on Lakira, and she turned into that weird elf torso we saw earlier. The wand's power is slowly killing Tika. The trio jump in a car, and Tika says to take her back to the Abrams house. In the car, Nick convinces Daryl to go back to the Abrams house. After talking about a prophecy and an unblooded orc, Jirak, who united the nine armies and defeated the Dark Lord. Inside the house, Daryl gives Nick a bomb, and of course, Layla and the other two Dark Elves turn up for the final shootout, action fight scenes. Nick handles himself really well. He disables the male elf and plants the bomb on the female Dark Elf. Daryl detonates the bomb, but the fight scenes aren't over just yet. Nick fights the male Dark Elf, and Daryl fights with Layla. Nick uses a shotgun to blow off the male elf and shoots Layla. The blue light fades from Layla's eyes so we just assume that she's dead. That's not the end of it though. Daryl carries Tika into the magic pool as Layla attacks Nick and hangs him with the rope. Layla nails a superhero landing, uses the magic wand on Daryl, and throws Tika out of the pool. Nick manages to break free. He shoots Layla and she drops the wand. Daryl reaches for the wand, thinking it will explode and kill everyone. 
He grabs the wand. It glows and doesn't explode. Daryl is a bright. Tika tells Daryl a war word that he repeats causing Layla to explode in a fireball. The magic task force turns up as we see a massive fireball shoot into the sky and Daryl drops the wand and looks for Tika. She's disappeared and Nick and Daryl have to get out of the burning house. Nick makes it outside but runs back into the flames and drags out his partner. They collapse on the ground and outside the burning building we see Dorgu and a group of fog teeth orcs. Dorgu raises in the air and all the orcs scream. Nick raises his hand in triumph. I guess this means he's blooded now. After a team recovers the magic wand, we see Nick and Daryl in the hospital. Daryl is tied to the bed, and just before Kandamir and Montague come to talk, Daryl tells Nick not to say anything. Nick is quite funny here, literally doing the opposite of what Daryl told him to do, telling them everything very quickly. Daryl stays cool and says there was no wand, no magic, and that gangsters killed the other officers. The movie ends with Nick and Daryl being given medals for their bravery. The other fallen officers are also being honored, alongside Rodriguez. Much to Daryl's disgust, but Nick tells him to let it go. They know the truth. Daryl's family are there, and we see Tika walking amongst the crowd as Daryl smiles. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.